We know people are into growing their own food. They have been for quite some time. So let's talk a little bit about growing food indoors. You've brought incredible systems. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't wait to see how these things uh, work. Yeah, but first off, we have to talk about can you grow food indoors? There are challenges. Like, what are the big challenges when it comes to growing your own food indoors? So, especially during the winter months, we have, you know, our heaters coming on. And we have drier air, so we have a lack of humidity. Yes. Daylight hours are few and far between. It's darker earlier, it. and the sun feels like it never comes up or ever shows its face. Mm -hmm. Space is a challenge. Yes. So, these are all challenges that you have to take into account. And then, really, what we have to do is try to mimic the outdoors indoors. So here's an example of a plant that was from the outdoors from the summer uh -huh. that I've been trying to make it survive during the winter and I have southern exposure, lots of windows, okay. lots of natural light and you can just see how it's just a struggling. It's tough. I mean, it's doing better than anything I've ever done indoors, but I can see where the struggle is happening there. Yeah, and a lot of times people will go to the grocery store and there's these beautiful little pots that are for sale and you think, hey, I'm going to do that and yeah. it's going to be great. And they end often in failure. Yeah, you'll get a couple harvests out of it, but it's not going to be something that's going to last for a long time. Right. If you want to grow something simply indoors without light, mm -hmm. and it's something great to get kids started on, that's just simply sprouts. Is that like one of the easiest things you can grow indoors? It is one of the easiest things that you can grow indoors. It's really quick to germinate. You can even germinate it in a paper towel. Nice. If you want to get kids into eating their own food and yeah. experimenting, this is really a fantastic way because within 10 days, they can all of a sudden be harvesting and that's that immediate gratification. My daughter is into that. She has grown sprouts in a paper towel. So mm -hmm. she's already veering off the, like she's definitely not apple tree when it comes to growing things. She grows things. Yeah. And I for, kill things. For, yeah. You, yeah. You, you, you like things. You're I just like trying, to eat you, them, but you, I cannot you, grow them. Well, yeah, but I we're going to help you. We're going to show you how okay. we can make this so easy. Sprouts don't need any light. So a plant doesn't need any light until mm -hmm. when it's germinated and then it gets three to five leaves. As soon as you count three to five leaves, that's when it needs light. That's right. why sprouts can go without because they get to that small stage. Yeah. We harvest them before they even need light. Got it. If we just want to simply grow something on our own and let's say yeah. that I wanted to help this guy out, we go to a light and it's not any old light that we're going to grab for this guy. If this guy comes it's a on. light that's going to replicate sun like that is bright. Yeah. And it's what's called full spectrum. So uh -huh. full spectrum light. And of course, this would be on a stand and or holder. You can get ones that even can click onto things. Or and just Frankie kind of can actually just come to your house and do yeah, that. Be here like for stand over for 12 your hours. basil. <laughs> Ooh, hot stuff. There you go, there you go. But it's mimicking the outdoors because it's full spectrum. So not any light bulb will do. Okay. Now you go into the grow system. So this is one of the first grow systems that was, and there's several. There's, yeah. there's hundreds. You go online, there's hundreds that are available. Okay. But that's Arrow Garden. And the Arrow Garden, this is one called the Harvest Elite. That one there is basically you're going to plug it in, mm -hmm. and you're going to put water in it, you're mm -hmm. going to put the pods in, mm -hmm. and then on the front you'll see there's a front display. It's going to tell you when to add more water, when to add fertilizer. Mm -hmm. It's going to do everything, and it's also going to turn the light on and off um, based upon what's growing in there. It'll automatically do what it needs to do here. Automatically, and then as the plants get a little bit taller, excuse mm -hmm. my reach there. Oh, you you're just gonna, go You're going to raise that up as they get taller. So, you know, when they're certain little, little babies, you're yeah. down low, and then as yeah. they mature, you go up and you continue to harvest as well. That's good. I like that the fact that it's automatic and it's going to do what it needs to do. Uh, so it's foolproof, kind of? Pretty foolproof. It's actually okay. really easy. And if you have a smaller apartment, that's great. Let's mm -hmm. say that you want to go a little bit larger, grow bigger plants. So let's say that we are growing lettuce greens. You can see the size oh, yeah. that, you, that that will take up. <clears throat> so this is what's called click and grow, and I've done this system as well. It's a really great Ooh, system. Oh, that's so cool. It's so cool, right? You yeah. can be like, hey. He's magical. Right? Do it again. Do it like, again. How you doing? Oh. I'm going to light up your life, girl. Um, <laughs> Gonna be like Frank no other. Game, yeah, yeah, there you go, there you go. <laughs> uh, same basis of these two is where it's a pod system. You're gonna throw that pod in. Okay. What you always do is after you throw a pod in, is you're always gonna there'll be water in the bottom, and that water will wick it into the pod. That'll mm -hmm. put moisture, so it's nice and moist because we need moisture to germinate a plant. Yeah. We're gonna put this over the top immediately, and the reason why we're gonna put these little hoods over the top that creates the greenhouse effect. Yes. And that greenhouse effect helps with that germination. This will grow plants five times faster than in soil. Oh, wow. So, okay, so this is what I need to know. If you're growing a plant indoors like this, is it going to taste the same as the plant that grows in the soil? Not always. And the reason okay. being in the soil, soil and sun is always the best way to grow something, yeah. in my opinion. Right. Uh, because there's microbes in the soil. And that microbes in the soil can add to flavor. And even different soils will have different tastes. We think about wine. Yeah. You know, wine, is it tastes different from this area to this area based yes. upon 
the mi minerals and micronutrients that are in the soil. Mm -hmm. The other thing about this as well, it comes with an app, so you can monitor the growth of your plants while you're at work if you're not working Very from techie. home. The only other thing that I will say, don't put this in a room where you sleep. Because when it it's comes on, it, it, it's bright, man. It'll yeah. light up your life. Like, like I said, Frankie's going to light up your life. This thing here is going to light up your night. <laughs> Not the kind of light up that I would want. But yeah, That's I'll, actually a really good consumer yeah. tip, though. So if you are in a studio, a bachelor apartment, yeah. uh, this will have to be in your bathroom where the door can close. But if you're in you know, a house and you've got a little bit of space, put this in a room where you're not going to be affected by the light constantly. Always great in a kitchen if you have yes. the space. Because yes. that fresh herbs, the fresh basil, and you're using fresh greens right at the kitchen, so good, so good, and so worth. The kids really love this. Adults really love this. Oh, yeah. And it's something that makes you feel good when we don't have dark days of February. And yeah, this is good. I agree. Yeah. I would actually sit under the light myself, get some of that. There you go. There Listen, you go. Uh, fresh start, fresh veggies. I love that. Thank you, Frank.